she was trying so hard <laughs> and she kept her eyes open. <laughs> Oh, Asia. <laughs> Checking it, y'all. <laughs> ER. Asia is currently in surgery. They said they have to do emergency um, surgery to go in because she did see a hole somewhere in her stomach through the x-rays but she couldn't tell where it was so right now we are waiting and they said she's very very sick and we are hoping and believing for the outcome to be a good one um, but the surgeon was very concerned and so she had to tell us all the best case scenario and the worst case scenario so we are waiting right now to see got great news Asia made it successfully through her surgery um, the surgeon just came and let us know that she's stable in her heart um, did well all the way through and what does she say she will be here probably about they say two to three weeks because, no, good, month. good month because it's basically touch and go and it was her stomach. They said she has a really big stomach, so she had to take out a piece of it. Um, just warning, what I'm about to show is no. very graphic. <laughs> so, if you are a weak person, weak stomach, I didn't. They told me I was supposed to warn y'all before I showed y'all my arm that time. So I'm doing it this time. So here we go. No, what is that this is what she. Um, took out. This is where the hole was in her stomach, and she said it was one next to it. Um, but this is how this is the color it should be, and this is the color. She said somehow it got twisted around. Something wasn't attached. Her spleen. A wandering spleen. She has a what you call a wandering spleen, and it wasn't attached or something, and somehow it got twisted. It got twisted around the. The what was the call they got twisted? I don't know. All this doctor terms, I don't know. But something got twisted. Her stomach got twisted, and they said they don't. She don't believe it's anything that she did to do that. Sometimes it just happens when you have a big stomach or something. So she is basically still open, and she will go back in on Monday to do another surgery. She did get some of the bowel out, the poop, but she left some of it in. For certain reasons, for strategic reasons. See if the, um, the amount of fluids that she yeah, the amount of fluids that they're giving her, if it'll change, and when she by the time she go back in and look and see, because she says she never takes out all of it at once. So, so she has done this before. Yes, she said she was very well experienced. She told us that downstairs. Mm -hmm. I don't know when this video will go up, but if you watch, if you see it, and Asia still, we ask for your prayers. Um, it's, you know, still a touch and go um, situation and they're going to just take it day by day. She said she was thankful that she made it through this one, was stable, it was able to keep her stable and her heart was able to um, work, you know, the whole time. So, I guess. That's the strong heart Asian. That's the yeah, strong. Asia's a fighter. She's been fighting before she was fighting before she came out. So she's always been a fighter and she's very strong little girl. So, mm -hmm. well, at the end of the day, God's will be done. And, you know, God knows all we don't. So we know that all things work together for our good. Either way, God knows. We are on our way up to the third floor. Intensive care unit where Asia is to see her. They told us to wait for like 30 minutes or so. Um, they say they have her paralyzed. They have her paralyzed so she can't move since her stomach is open. They don't want her to move at all. We're here to see Asia. What'd she say? They're still being her stomach. Oh. So basically, for the last, what, three hours or so? Yeah. It's been about three hours since she had surgery, but we just came from out of there with her in the room that she's in been in there for about a, about over an hour they were um continuing to 
been working on her. She's losing a lot of blood. She just keep bleeding out. And they've been giving her a lot of blood. And it's fast as they're giving it to her. She's um, her, it's coming out. They are giving her all types of medicines and stuff to get her blood to clot. And the surgeon said that too earlier to, about her blood clotting. They needed to clot and to slow down. They said it's just touch and go. And um, my husband asked them that they have they had a situation like this. Have they seen you like this, this before? And she said yes. And she said it didn't end well. My husband stayed in there and had us come out here because it was just too much. It was just too much. And I was going to stay back and allow them to come back. But my husband suggested that we come and he stay. So that's what we're doing. We're in here. Just continue to pray and just wait. And um, see. Head is hurting. I have this serious headache. But then they also trying to um get her body temperature regulated. Like she's really cold, and they keep doing a lot of different things trying to um stable like get her body temperature warm. Why would she say that in front of us? What did she say? She said that she that it's never gonna catch up. Oh, yeah, I heard her say that. Mm -hmm. What, when I was in the car? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my to be, like, traumatizing. <laughs> you were trying so hard. Because <laughs> she's so strong. I know. She's she been strong all her life. <laughs> And she kept her eyes open <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I know. it does it has to impact you that something things about you start to change now because you saw something you, it, it has to do something this situation has to do something man it has to do something in lives it has to or it was in vain or, 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 or no, it was in vain anybody can feel sorry for somebody and cry for somebody when they feel that something happened right? but people do that all the time and still they just go back doing what they're doing but this has to speak loud to the people involved, it has to. It has to send a strong message. A strong message. If not, then it, 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 it didn't. Then it wasn't worth. Then it wasn't vain. Cause all anybody can go to a what? Anybody can go to a funeral and cry. Or anybody can talk about oh man. I don't want to hear that mess, man. Why they alive? What happened? Why they were alive? They didn't get that kind of attention. Now they did. You want to give them attention? They can't even hear you. Her life has to say something to everybody who's involved with her. It has to say, my God, look at your own life. Or say, Lord, I don't wanna get that close, so I don't wanna, oh Lord, forgive me where I fall. It has to bring some type of repentance and brokenness and humility. It has to speak to people. Well, that's like somebody dying in vain. That's like the different people that died. The mark, all the ones, did he die for nothing? It has to impact lives till it brings about change.
And that's what it's about. God always wants to change. And sometimes you don't know how change going to come. You can get so close to it. And then sometimes, bam, it has to happen. And folks, sometimes even death don't even change. They still cold-blooded. <laughs> still heartless. Still brainless. Whether in life or in death, how does it speak? What does it say? What's the message that God wants us to get? This night will have, will have to be able to have changed, to change lives like it never has before. I'm trying to tell you, it, 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 it has to. Something has to happen. This night has to do something in, in people's lives. Something has to click on. Something has to happen as a result of this. Mm -hmm. It has to speak or not, and we have no, that we're more heartless than we've ever been before in our lives. And bread and day and bread day than we've ever been. If this doesn't cause me to see me, because in this, I'm supposed to see me. Mm -hmm. Not nobody else. That's right. I'm supposed to see me. Lord, some lights must come on. Something must change in me. Because even though it didn't happen to me, it happened to somebody close to me enough to know, oh my God, have I taken life so for granted? Have I not valued the life that you allowed me to have? I, have I not listened to you? Have I not obeyed like I should have obeyed? Have I not done what I should have done? Have I not lived? I should have lived. It has to speak. It has to speak. And changes must come from this.